who will be organizing Syrian tours of motherships, after first contact. By Drake X Omega. Repost of July 9, 2011. Dear First Contactees. In answer to the title question, her name is Sandara, and she is a Syrian extraterrestrial SNE, fleet executive officer for the official tours of the mothership, following first contact, a process which is designed to be a cultural acclimatization and training program for willing Earth human students. Such students will then return to their families, friends and neighbors, to spread the news of their experiences. Also, some will be asked to take part in TV interviews, and given opportunities to express their thoughts and feelings, anent the tour. All this will be conducted with the full blessing and support of reformed Earth governments. There will be no Illuminoid interference in how the media operate, so you will find an infinite openness will prevail, in a climate of joy. Anyone who focuses intent, on wishing to be a part of the tour experience, will be selected by the Syrians using technologies that monitor human thought forms, intentions and general mind activity, across the planet. So send out your intent and you will be touring at the appropriate time and not before. There will be tranches of 50 persons per tour, but this may be adapted as necessary. Sandara was born in the hamlet of Breg, on the Karanet Plateau, in the central highlands of planet Samanitz, outer continent of Saqqara. The planet has inner and outer continents. Samanid is the fourth planet within the Sirius B star system. She has extensive duty experience with the SNE fleet and has been on duty for the last 24 Earth years aboard various ships in the Federation fleets involved with the disclosure strategy for Earth and its planned aftermath. A humanoid ET, she stands at a perfectly proportioned 6 foot 1 inch which is the case with most Syrian women, who average 6 inches taller than Plajara, strikingly good-looking, by Earth standards, she has a proud and sometimes hearty poise, with distinguished aquiline nose, brown-green eyes, long thick straight golden hair, and appears to be 23 years of age, by Earth standards, but is actually considerably older and totals 196 years, by year 2015, the average age of Samanid Syrians being 2,090 years of physical life. She wears either the purple and gold dresses and gowns, favored by her clan, or she wears the standard white jumpsuit, while on duty. On the surface of Samanit there are no cities, towns or villages, at all, as part of a deliberate policy to maintain the surface, primarily for the planetary guardianship purpose of ritual. So there are vast temple complexes only upon the surface, as well as hamlets and small dwellings. Most Syrians live within the planet, inner Samanit within the crystal cities of great splendor, which are grown, rather than built, in the conventional way, some Syrians, within spiritual warrior clans, such as the Atar clan, seek surface dwellings as well, in order to be at hand near the temples, there are individual dome-shaped houses, surrounded by beautiful gardens and occupied by individuals and their families. When common work and purpose compel a closer proximity for joint ritual, within clans, and between clans, then hamlets are set up to house a special potlet, which Syrians call bada, which is a potluck consisting of a maximum of 64 individuals. If there is a purpose that stipulates the necessity to reside upon the planetary surface, then the bada is housed within a hamlet of several dome-shaped dwellings in closer proximity than normal. Sandara was born in such a hamlet and its name was Bada Breg, Podlet of the Temple Bridge. I present this data so as to prepare people for the Syrians, and to inculcate positive anticipation of the official tours of the motherships. The Syrians and others, will be walking among the peoples of Earth, so be prepared to meet them. In order to aid people in distinguishing the various Galactic Federation of Light Star Nation representatives, I would like to present this summary, to aid an easy and rapid identification of the various personnel from the Galactic Federation of Light color coding of their standard crew uniforms. Initially, only humanoids will take part in the mass landings. After they have become familiar to Earth people, other star nations will arrive, including those who were considered former adversaries and now stand as allies and members of the Galactic Federation of Light, such as the Belatric Sirians and other races within the former Anchar Alliance. Here are some humanoid Galactic Federation of Light representatives, as a snapshot, as there are too many to list. Syrians, white. Pleiadians, blue. Agarthans, green. 
Lairns, Russet. Epsilon Aridanians, Pale Gray. Andromedans, Rainbow. Note that when our new Solaris star nation is created, which will include inner and outer Earth, Venus, Mars and Pax, the combined format jumpsuit color-coded, to represent the Solarians, within the Galactic Federation of Light, will possibly be the vibration of indigo, albeit green is the current Agarthan preference. This potential use of indigo as the defining tone is esoteric, and relates to the ray of our solar logos, the second ray. Let us continue to prepare the forms of the upcoming civilization, with much joy, and let us apply our wisdoms in solution to all problems alongside our space family. Selamat Gajan, Aiken Oal de Joai. Colonel, Trick X Omega, Commander, Galactic Federation of Light Ground Crew, Eastern England Sector. Read more at astrocommandcrew.net.